Well, uh, sad to say, but uh, Reverend Joseph Lowry passed away. I think he was 98 years old. And uh, we are caught up with the coronavirus and all that. But uh, I think uh, Mr. Lowry, or Mr. Joseph Lowry, or Reverend uh, Joseph Lowry, is uh, one of the most, uh, how can I say, uh, influential uh, people, I'd say, in the century. Uh, not just for the United States of America, but for the entire planet. <laughs> and uh, I don't you, you must know who Joseph Lowry is. Uh, Joseph Lowry, he uh, is one of the uh, United States of America civil rights leaders. Uh, they fought with, uh, together with uh, uh, Martin Luther King, J.C. Jackson, and the rest of them. <clears throat> and uh, they, uh, they created organizations to uh, promote civil rights. And they advanced the United States of America like, like, in, uh, like in a very short time, amazingly fast. <clears throat> and uh, and I never forgot a speech that he uh, uh, he uh, he made. And you have to understand that uh, these people were under under siege 24 hours a day. So when I heard that speech for the first time, I, I must have been I don't know probably 18, 19 years old. And uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, I was living at the time in Atlanta, Georgia, and he made this speech in Washington, D.C. And uh, we were listening to him. Uh, and he started talking about colors. <laughs> that is how conditioned even the civil rights leaders were and are. Basically, they uh, they defending their color. They are not defending the United States of America. And uh, he basically say the uh, the uh, the blacks are something another, and the browns can stay, and all this color coding stuff. And uh, right now we are paying for that, right now, for that color coding and that division with this coronavirus uh, problem that we have. I'm going to explain what I'm talking about. Because people that, that they do not think of, of this. Right now, the entire planet is is uh, divide, divided into uh, into countries, uh, counties, and different political and administrative uh, sections. <clears throat> the Romans started that, and. Now we father divided by color coding, blacks, whites, uh, also by uh, 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 names that make no sense whatsoever, like Hispanics and Latins, and uh, and so on. But we are we are continue to organize ourselves that way. But the reality is that we no longer live our life that way. <laughs> so analyze what I'm saying. It's kind of confusing because we call ourselves blue states and red states and purple states. And we call ourselves the United States of America and the United States of Mexico. And we call ourselves Chinese and we call ourselves all that. But we have something they unite us all and that is called transportation and communication so we dividing ourselves but our real everyday life is a continuous mix of people so what I'm trying to say is that we are no longer tribes we are no longer colors we are no longer like uh, Mr. Joseph Lowry say white browns and blacks you know we no longer are that because he worked really hard to unite the colors 
analyze what I'm talking about. They went and fought the United States of America government to seize apartheid, to unite people. The same is in South Africa, the same is all over the world. So we have to stop living like in the Stone Age because that is what happened. If you if you look at the uh, at the biology of the situation and you have to look at it that way. It doesn't matter if the virus started in China or in the United States or in Italy or in Spain or Pakistan. It doesn't matter. What does matter is that we are humans and we will catch it. <laughs> they, uh, they, they, we are basically host. Bio, biological, uh, we are a biology that host viruses. And the virus will extremely well adapted to jump from animals to us because guess what? We are animals. <laughs> it's no, it's not like we are different. No, no, we are animals. So we, the solution to all these pandemics and all this is to to start reflecting in in the population of what the reality of what we are that we are a biology and that we are one people on the planet. No longer we uh, are divided by geography, no longer, because we have airplanes and ships and trucks and buses. So whatever happened uh, uh, 10,000 miles away, rapidly will arrive on your doorsteps. Uh, I'm going to give an example of that. Mr. Como, the governor of New York, and I actually pick on New York because it's the biggest uh, uh, population by a city in the United States of America, and top one of the biggest cities in the planet. So now we have we have Como, and they're running around. That he said that we need to kick the virus ass. Well, how are you going to do that, Mr. Como? Well, he doesn't offer a solution. Like, I am offering a solution right now. The solution is that we need to unite people, take away the, 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 the bar barriers. Because if we're going to be traveling around the planet that quickly, we can no longer be divided. Our, our biology cannot take it. So, Mr. Cuomo, he's up there. And uh, I guarantee you that on his census uh, form, he, uh, he wrote down that uh, he is white. <laughs> that he is white. And uh, that uh, the he's white and the he was born in the United States of America. But two generations back, he was not white. He was a Latin coming from the Italic Peninsula. That means that his biology, he is in tune to the disease and the diet of the Italic Peninsula. But now he's not. Now he is in the America where we eat maize, corn, <laughs> and potatoes, and tomatoes that do not come from the Italic Peninsula. But he sure can make some spaghetti, I can guarantee you that, with with product no of his biology no uh, 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 how can I say historically being produced by his by his biology by his family if you will and that is what we need to do we need to do what we need to do is unite the planet as a one entity of biology that way we can fight the uh, the uh, uh, the virus better. So right now, Mr. Fossi or another Italian, Fossi, that is how it's pronounced, no Fossi, the doctor that is uh, telling Trump what to do. Uh, let's shut down the entire planet because that will protect us. No, and you see it on the data. You can shut down the entire planet and the virus is still going to reach you because we no longer are 
divided by geography or by by tribes we are a single single entity around the planet we just think that we can continue to do that that we can continue to divide people in national origins and geography and colors and uh, and uh, uh, ethnicity and, and, and all these little things so yes the culture must be protected languages must be protected and that is, is what I'm trying to say we must protect what we have but we cannot isolate each other we all must understand the reality that we are just one it doesn't matter which language you speak which accent you have uh, where do you live at the end of the day you depend on me you depend on me and I depend on you it is it is that simple that is the only way that you can kick this virus or the next well I hope I make sense what, what I'm trying to say I'm not eloquent but uh, uh, I am correct uh, uh, we are no longer living like in the Stone Age in tribes we are one big tribe the, uh, the planet Earth tribe and because of that it doesn't matter where the virus start this one and the next one we must fight it as one planet 